and that's this interesting stage of, you know, being a teenager too, is these kids actually are looking for more autonomy and independence. Um, and when they're in the visit with me, I mostly talk to them and not their parents mm -hmm. um, because they're the ones that have to do all the work. They have to buy in um, and they have to be willing to work really hard. Um, and I think most kids, they just want to be normal. They just want to be like everyone else. Um, and it's pretty impressive to see how hard they will work and the type of physical exertion they will put themselves through despite having terrible pain. Well, any, any last words or a quote or just something you like to tell people that are frustrated or just really suffering, what's a parent or a child, what would you say to them for, you know, finding help? Um, there is help out there. I think, you know, by the time I see these families, they've often had pain for a really long time. They've seen a lot of doctors. They've tried a lot of stuff. They've traveled the country looking for a diagnosis, let alone a solution. Um, and there actually are teams of people um, across the country in different pain rehab programs that they get this. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we know it's real. It's not in their head um, <laughs> because all of my patients have heard that or it's been implied um, and so I think there's a huge sense of relief when you go to centers like this and you realize there are people that, that understand you and you're actually not alone and this is fixable um, and you can have your life back.